Hey, what's up, guys? Got another nasty day going on. Someone's over there shoveling the snow on their porch over there. Look at that. But this is what it's looking like today. Probably can see one of the wind turbines. Uh, you can't see it. Way back over there. And they go to solar panels. Right down there, covered up with snow. Yeah, this is how it's looking like. Yesterday, we got a lot of rain. And by nighttime, it turned into sleet. And then it snowed most of the morning on in. It's about like 3.30 now. Snow is tapering off, so going to have to go out and do some snow shoveling. But let go, let's go take a look at the solar. Hold on. All right, guys, we down here looking at the PIP 5048. And as you can see, we are in bypass because the solar panels are completely covered with ice and snow out there. So I went on ahead, changed my settings, and what I did was I changed from solar only, and I went to solar and grid for charging my batteries. I only do that when the bad weather's coming in, especially when it snows. I want to keep my batteries fully charged so if we have a power outage we'll have a fully charged battery bank. Batteries is floating right now at 57.3. That's what I charge my batteries up to. We trickle charge into 3 amps. We are bringing in power right here. Bringing in power coming from the grid going to the batteries and to the loads over here. And the solar panels, I guess they are bringing in a little power too. But that's what we're looking like on the batteries. Let's go through some of the settings and see what we got. 57, we got zero coming out of the batteries. We got... Go back. 66 volts on PV Ray 1 66, 67 volts on PV Ray 2 no power is coming in cause they are completely covered with ice and snow again loads is uh, leg 1 loads 204 watts Leg two is 611 watts. Leg one is 12%. Leg two is 30%. And we back to there. I haven't checked my batteries in a couple of weeks. Uh, let's go in and do that. See what the batteries is reading. Hold on. Okay, guys. We are here. Let's get some readings on the batteries. Haven't did this in a while. See what we looking like. They should be pretty good. I'm going to do each module. Then I'll come back and do each cell. So let's do each module. 8.21. 8.21. Eight point two five, eight point three one, eight point two six, eight point two nine, eight point three one, eight point. Two five. So that's what we're looking like now. Let's do each module. Four point one 
one one. Four point one one. Four point one three. Four point one three. Four point one five. Four point one six. Four point one three. Four point one three. Four point one five. Four point one five. Four point one five. Four point one six. Four point one two. Four point one two. So that's what the batteries is looking like. So what I might do is, um, you know what, I'm going to go get my temperature gun. We're going to see what the temperature is of this battery box and what the battery temperature is of the batteries. Hold on just a second. All right, guys, let me zoom it out. All right. Get the first one right here. Seventy five. See what the inside of the box is. Seventy two. Seventy three. Seventy one. 71, that's the inside of the box. Okay, this is battery number 7. 74. Battery number 6, 75. Battery number 5, 75. Battery number 4, 75. Three, it says 76. Uh, I moved it, it says 75 now. Okay, this is battery number two. 75.5. Battery number one. 75.2. It's my first time ever thinking of using my gun to measure the temperature of the battery. Let's measure the connections. This is going to be the positive. Now this is the negative connection over here. Measure it. 74.6 This is the positive. 72.2 uh, we're going to get this one here. This is the breaker. Seventy three point seven on the positive breaker. Seventy three point four on the negative breaker. Yeah, so it looks like everything doing pretty good. I think today, since I can't go nowhere, because I surely don't want to be in another accident because it's pretty slick out there, just now getting over the last one we was in, getting where I'm feeling pretty good, but I think I'm going to mess with the wind turbine today. So as I make some progress, I'm going to shoot some video and I upload video as I'm making progress. That's if I mess with it today. I might not do it. Might just watch some TV, kind of chill out today. But I will get you something tomorrow. Because I'm off tomorrow. Had a whole day to mess around. So, I'm going to cut this short here. We're coming up on 10 minutes and I will see you later on if I make some moves on this wind turbine. Alright guys, see you.